example six, let's take a look at some applications. A surveyor can measure the width of a river by setting up a transit point C on one side of the river, that's right here, and taking a sighting of point A on the opposite side of the river. After turning an angle 90 degrees at C, okay, he walks 300 meters to point B. So using the transit at B, the angle theta is found to be 30 degrees. We can see it more clearly down here. What is the width of the river rounded to its nearest meter? So I'm going to use tangent because I don't know my hypotenuse. Like, it's unknown. So I'm going to take tan of 30 degrees to be my opposite, which is B, that's what I'm trying to find out, over my adjacent, which I know. So B equals 300 times tan of 30 degrees, which is about 173.2 meters. So let's go ahead and round this to 173 meters. Let's take a look at another example. So first off, an, when an angle, vertical heights can be measured using an angle of elevation, right? That's when you're looking up, or an angle of depression. If a person's looking up at something elevated, that's an angle of elevation. And we call the line of sight to that object the angle of elevation. If someone's looking down at an object, the acute angle made by the line of sight is called the angle of depression when it's going down. So meteorologists find the height of a cloud using an instrument called a celiometer. Who knew? A celiometer consists of a light projector ah, that uh, scans the cloud that, oh, light projector that directs a vertical light beam up to the cloud base and a light detector that scans the cloud to detect the light beam. At Midway Airport in Chicago, never been there, a celiometer was A cellular was employed to find the height of the cloud cover. Sorry, there's not good spacing on these words. It was set up with a light detector 300 feet from its projector. Okay. If the angle of elevation was 75 degrees, what's the height of the cloud cover? Again, we're going to use tan, right? I know my adjacent. I don't know my opposite. Tan of theta is opposite. That's my height over my base in this case. So tan of theta is h over uh, 300, but I know my theta. My theta is 75 degrees. So 300 tan of 75 degrees equals h. Um, so h is 11,196, so about 12,000. because we were told we were measuring in feet because we were 300 feet apart. Next, I want to talk about the definition of direction or bearing, and that's the last thing in this section, pretty much. So, in navigation and surveying, the direction or bearing from a point O to a point P equals the acute angle formed between the ray and the north-south vertical okay so this is considered north 30 degrees and then east we always say north first and then east and it's not 60 degrees right because even though this is 90 degrees we're measuring the distance from our vertical axis here we have north 70 degrees west here we have south 50 degrees again we're measuring it from our vertical angle west so let's figure out what point four would be well, this is definitely south, and then it's 20 degrees from our vertical axis, and then it's east. So that's what point four would be. And we already answered that. Go team. So let's solve an example using bearings. So a Boeing 777 aircraft takes up from National Air Airport on runway two left which has a bearing north 20 degrees east. Okay, 
So I start off 20 degrees north, 20 degrees east, because we got north, east, south, west. After running one mile, okay, it requests permission to turn 90 degrees and then goes two miles in this direction. What bearing will the control tower use to locate the aircraft? So here's what I need to determine. First off, I need to determine this angle, this theta, right? So I figure out this theta, I could figure out this one and then take away the 90 degrees. So I know my opposite and my adjacent. Wow, Tan's getting a lot of play today. Tan doesn't normally get so much play. Go Tan. So I have Tan of theta to be opposite Oh no, I'm trying to find this. This is my theta, sorry. So my opposite's two over one. So my tan of theta is two. If I take tan inverse from both sides again, we're trying to figure out this angle and then we'll take away 20 degrees. I could have figured out that one, but it's kind of a waste of time. So let's ignore that. Oh, I'm switching colors. Tan inverse of both sides. So that would give me that theta is 63.4 degrees. And so to figure out how to change my bearing, I need to know the angle of just this little theta right here. Well, that's going to be 63.4 degrees minus 20 degrees, which is 43.4 degrees. So my bearing is still north, so we're going north, 43.4 degrees west. That's our bearing.